for there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not chapter and verse all the time, you understand? When you wake up, you know, it's like you have a thought coming to you. You can just say, that will never happen to me and my family, in Jesus' name. That's all. You don't have to quote chapter and verse all the time. Amen. You can say things like, you know, you look in the mirror and say, I believe I'm the youngest looking 40 year old. I believe I'm the youngest looking 50 year old. I believe I'm the youngest looking 60 year old. You can say that. I recommend you don't say it in public. <laughs> all right? If you're believing God, to be a parent after a number of years it seems to be fruitless all right don't speak the situations just say i see myself you thought that's someone i see myself a father of many i see myself having kids i see myself amen it's not chapter and verse all the time it's not chapter and verse all the time amen you look at your body and say i believe i have the healthiest 50 year old body i have the healthiest you can say that. It's not chapter and verse all the time. It's not chapter and verse all the time. Pastor, can I say it? Believe, you believe it, then say it. Kenneth Hagen was, many years ago, Kenneth Hagen is a great man of God, the father of faith. Kenneth Hagen is a great man of God, the father of faith. Kenneth Hagen is a great man of God. This is the first time we've had a full manifestation of that in all. We got that. You say it long enough, you'll believe it. So say it, even though you don't believe it, say it. You're 60 years old, you look in the mirror and say, wow, oh, I've got wrinkles, right? I see you wrinkle free, <laughs> amen? You're 60 years old, you look in the mirror and say, wow, oh, I've got wrinkles, right? I see you wrinkle free, <laughs> amen? Amen? There, there, there's a lady in our church recently, um, one of my leaders have not seen her for a number of months, apparently, and she used to be a slightly uh, uh, overweight, all right? And when you saw her, he was amazed, she was completely slim. And he asked her, oh, what happened? What was the diet you're using? She said, no diet, exercise, no exercise. I just spoke to my body, she said. No exercise, I just spoke to my body, she said. Body, you're slimming down. Every time I look in the mirror, I see you slim. Amen. Quickly, I, 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 what what happened, uh, and when did it happen to mandate upon your life to release this message? Well, first, Phil, uh, it's a joy to be here and to be with all of you. We finally get to meet our TV audience face to face, and it's one thing to have, you know, God gather the people together. Yeah. It's another thing to have the same spirit, the Benjamin generation. Having the same mother, we have the same Heavenly Father and the same Mother Grace. We have the same Heavenly Father and the same Mother Grace. We have the same Heavenly Father and the same Mother Grace. I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offences contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. <laughs>